about challenges, uh, anyone who's done it will know that climbing Snowdon can be a bit of a challenge for anyone. But what if you had to make it to the top on just your hands and knees? Well, that was the task facing double amputee Paul Ellis, who lost both legs after a spinal injury. Here he is, uh, taking on the gruelling climb, 3,500 feet above sea level. It's amazing pictures. Paul had to battle against painful blisters, as you can probably understand. Despite wearing thick gloves, actually gardening gloves they were, and knee pads, and he carried a 10 kilogram backpack the whole way. But after 13 hours, look at this, he reached the summit, uh, raised more than £20,000 for an amputee, for amputee children, and he joins us now. Gosh, it looked up Good morning, morning to you. Morning. It looked magnificent. It was, it was a nice day, it was. Oh, it looks absolutely fabulous. Nice uh, day at the top or nice day on the way? <laughs> uh, the, sun, the sun was out, so it was, it was, it was OK. Um, there are some days it's not so nice no, up there. So um, tell us, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a big challenge, isn't it? Was, it? Yeah, so why challenge. decide to do it like that? Uh, well, I just, I've, I've walked up it a couple of times and I just thought, I just crawl up it and raise awareness for um, camp kids and raise some money. So that's what... That was the idea behind things. How do you train for that sort of thing? Well, I play, I play a wheelchair rugby week from Mersey Storm, and I've been going out pushing in the wheelchair. Yeah. So that stands me in good stead. And obviously walking out with Ben and the team uh, up mountains and stuff like that stands me in good stead as well, fitness-wise. So I, I did crawl around the streets a few times, on my hands and knees, to get a, a feel of it kind of thing. But yeah. it's just one of those days you have to just go out and just do it. You, Louise, you've been up Snowden a number of times, haven't you? Yeah. You always say that it's, a, you know, it's hard. even in good weather, it's yeah, tough. Yeah, it's hard in good tough, weather. And we're just looking at you here. I mean, it's the terrain which is hard, isn't it? Is, it? Yeah, Particularly yeah. for you. Yeah, it was hard, yeah, it was hard. The last two miles was hard. done that in about nine hours. In two, nine hours for two hours? Yeah, it was, uh, For yeah. two miles? Yeah, two miles, yeah. It was hard going. It was. And we talk about uh, you know, specialist equipment for things like this. You had, so you had these special knee pads on. Well, I just got some knees. knee pads from, from, from online shopping. I went, went online, got some special knee pads. I just knee pads, basically. <laughs> just, just, just normal knee, knee pads. pads. And then you were, you, your own gardening gloves? Or just bought some more gardening gloves. <laughs> bought some gardening gloves. And that was it? That was it, yeah. And that was the way. Did you, did you wear them thin? Uh, what do you mean? No. From, from, um, no, 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 they're quite good. That's a good knee pads. Well, oh, good. <laughs> oh, <they're laughs> yeah, so you yeah. can still use them for gardening. You can still use them, yeah. Oh, so Paul, I mean, just take us through. I mean, yeah, give that, give us a sort of assessment of that feeling. Um, I mean, you, your face says quite a lot, yeah, but tell us yeah. how you were feeling. I was made up to get to the top. I was buzzing. I mean, because it was a long day and uh, I was shattered as well. You know, I was exhausted when I got to the top. And there's only two people left on the mountain because the sun. Well, had this, gone... well, that's the thing, isn't it? Because there were quite a few people on the mountain. Yeah, so you got it at a good time. And did yeah, but, but when I got to the top, everybody had gone. Because it was like the sun had gone down over the mountain. Yeah. But it's coming going dark and there's just two people at the top. So I asked them could they take a picture. <laughs> so they went back up with me, a little bit, and then did they? took some pictures. Thankfully there was someone else up there. Yeah, 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 well, what was it like? Yeah. I mean, you know, I know you've been up Snowden yeah. before, but you sort of think you've made it, don't you? And then yeah. there's those last little steps do, yeah. at the top. Yeah, it was. It's hard going them steps as well, because it's just got to start like. Well, and also, I mean, you know, hard going and there's there's quite steep edges, I always There was, yeah, there was as well, yeah, it was a bit not too keen on edges. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you've been sort of very matter-of-fact about it, yeah. but, you know, yeah. it's, a, it's a huge challenge. It was a huge challenge, yeah, it was. And yeah, I, it I was know you're aware of that, yeah. so what, it, what was it that kept you going? What were you thinking uh, Just about? basically just the kids, the raising money for the kids. That was, that was the main thing that kept me going. And obviously raising funds for Ben and the team as well, that, that kept me going. Uh, and people on the mountain as well, they get saying, well, you can do it. It was like, it's very supportive, you know what I mean? You can get up there, you can do it. Uh, so, yeah, they were, it was just a fantastic day, you know. Which was the hardest bit? Uh, probably after the cafe, I think that was the hardest bit. Oh, so right, yes. But all, all that, you sort of, it goes quite steep, doesn't it, after the cafe? It does. All the rocks and that what. And then when I got under the railway bridge, I started going up the rocks there. Yeah. I started to go onto the railway track and just follow the track all the way up to the, to the summit. Mm. Was the cafe open? It was, yeah. So I've got, <laughs> got some water on the, on the cafe. Really so important questions. Yeah. Take, take us back to what happened to you, because it was in the, the 1990s you got a spinal injury. Yeah, yeah, I right? had a fall in 1992, uh, and then many years later, uh, I lost the legs in 2008. And that was, that was sort of like, because I went for years where I couldn't stand, couldn't walk, hard way, I was in a lot of pain. Then when I lost the legs, it was like I got my first leg, got my second leg. And then I thought, wow, amazing this. And then I was off then doing stuff, climbing mountains and going for walks and stuff, you know. So it's, well, you're brilliant. Thank yeah, you thank so you. much for coming to see us, okay, and, and well done. Yeah. Can I just say thank you to uh, Richard Turner, who drove four hours to get to the mountain, stayed with us overnight, oh. and uh, Dan, uh, Dave and Gabrielle, who came as well through the night to bring my legs back up so I could walk back down. So 
Thank oh, you. thank you. Yeah, thanks for everybody sponsoring me as well on the team, you know, for the kids and that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure they're very proud watching you this morning. Okay, I'm sure you get a lot really more support impressive. as well. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for your help. Thank See you up there again. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Thank you. Cheers, Paul. What a, what a... Um, so